White Mountain Apache Tribe v. Bracker, 1980. In 1969, the White Mountain Apache Tribe of Arizona contracted with the Pine Top Logging Company, otherwise known as Pine Top, to cut down trees on their reservation and transport them to the tribal organization Sawmill. All of Pine Top's activities were solely performed on the reservation. However, the state of Arizona imposed its motor carrier license tax on Pine Top based on their gross receipts. Arizona also imposed their fuel tax, which is assessed on motor vehicles used on any highway within the state. Pine Top paid the taxes under protest and sued in state court on the grounds that Arizona was violating federal law. Pine Top's argument was that state taxes could not be lawfully imposed on them for activities conducted exclusively on the reservation on roads built by the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs. Arizona argued that it had a right to tax a non-Indian entity working on tribal lands. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the state of Arizona has no right to impose state taxes on a non-Indian company working exclusively on tribal lands. The court held that since a federal agency, namely the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs, regulated the operations, the state had no power to impose state taxes for activities on tribal lands.